there, and welcome to another scintillating episode of Stubbs. I'm Mark. And I'm and, Mike. And we just got out of seeing Whiteout. It was starring Kate Beckinsale, Gabriel Macht, Tom Skerritt, Columbus Short, and Alex O'Laughlin. Uh, basic plot for this? In an isolated area in, in Antarctica, which is, you know, the most desolate, isolated... South Pole, yeah. Um, there's a murder, and now people are trying to figure out who killed the person and all that. Kate Beckinsale plays a U.S. Marshal. Um, Carrie Stetko. Carrie Stetko. And who's investigating the murder that might have something to do with uh, an ancient Russian plane that crashed in the ancient times of, you know, 1957. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's, a, it's a really cool thriller suspense movie. There's a lot of twists and turns. Um, when I say cool, I mean literal, because it is an Antarctica. Um, and the scenery was probably the only saving grace on this pile. Uh, Gabriel Macht plays a uh, UN uh, representative who's there to help. I guess mm-hmm. that's pretty much about it. Except yeah. he was missing something. Yeah. Uh, he was missing a red tie in bad acting. He was missing. <laughs> he uh, definitely was. This could have been solved. Just send the spirit after your murderer. The, totally. Uh, Tom Skerritt played the doctor. Columbus Short mm-hmm. played a pilot. And mm-hmm. the guy from Moonlight Yeah, Alex was... O'Loughlin just kind of played the uh, token Australian guy that was at the outpost for whatever reason. Um, I really don't recall. Token Australian uh, guy? Token Australian guy. What is he, Wolverine from, you know, Pride of the X-Men now? Yeah. Because everyone needs an Australian Wolverine in their everyone life. Everyone needs an Australian Wolverine. And you know what's funny? All these Aussies are actually playing Canadians. Look at Hugh Jackman. The scenery in this movie was phenomenal. Uh, the scenery was breathtaking, yeah. It really was. They even Columbus Short even mentions, you know, no matter how many times I make this run, mm-hmm. it's still always beautiful. And that was, a ma- that was a major draw for this movie. Another thing that I really liked was that this was a suspense thriller. And normally when you see that, it's very dark. It's very, you know, grayed. With this, mm-hmm. it was very bright. It, there was very little darkness to it. You well, could with see, the snow, yeah, every, yeah, yeah. The light was reflecting off it. Um, but it still had a very noir feel, feel to it because not every, as not everyone knows, yeah, uh, noir doesn't have to be dark and right. you know black and white. Didn't you think it was just? It felt isolated and it felt really, really creepy to be watching this. And at the same time, it also uh, a lot of the ways that they were using the camera angles, it also felt very. Uh, Close, very, mm-hmm. yeah, a little, uh, almost intimate, almost, yeah, in, in its surroundings. Uh, one of the cool things that they did was, uh, at these outposts, they have tethers to take you from one building to the other, and be, uh, they actually show Kate Beckinsale being chased by the murderer, and they're mm-hmm. fighting over. Okay, I'm tethered now. You aren't, and that mm-hmm. was actually a really interesting fight scene, and chase scene, yes. um, and. Whiteout was based on a comic by Greg Rucka. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you don't know Greg Rucka, he's most famous probably for... Oh, uh, he's a writer at DC Comics. Um, he wrote, writes uh, Batman stories, Wonder Woman stories. Um, he had a long arc in um, Detective Comics where he introduced uh, the new, uh, the new, the old new Batwoman, mm-hmm. you know, Kathy Kane. And he used, uh, he brought Detective Renee Montoya into the spotlight. Now, uh, Renee, Renee Montoya, start, she was one of the characters, like uh, Harley Quinn, mm-hmm. that started in the uh, Batman animated series yeah, and, and actually transitioned right. into... They brought her into the comics uh, after a couple of years, but mm-hmm. before Rucker really showed up, she didn't have a whole lot to do, and they gave her a wonderful character oh, arc. Oh, that was a fantastic with... arc through 52, where uh, oh, her yeah. and uh, Charlie, the original question, go on this long character journey, and she eventually mm-hmm. becomes the new... Question. The new question, which kind of leads into uh, a point that should be made about Greg Rucka, um, whether it's um, Marshall Stetko in Whiteout, or it's uh, Tara Chase in Queen and Country, or you know the aforementioned DC characters like, you know, Batwoman and Renee Montoya and Wonder Woman. Don't forget and Wonder, Wonder, Wonder Woman. Woman and Wonder Woman. He is always writing very strong female characters, mm-hmm. and God love him for that. It's just <laughs> they. Well, he is such a brilliant writer and. The whole thing about uh, Whiteout, even though they kind of adapted it and it was kind of a crappy adaptation, the concept and the story, it's still more original than anything you're going to find out in the movie theater right now. And I guess on that basis you should see it, but it doesn't make up for really, really poor performances. 
on everyone's part that isn't. Well, you know, the performances Kate weren't really that bad. Kate Beckinsale it was, wasn't bad. But um, it was a very. You could tell that they were there reciting the lines. Right. Now, this movie was shelved for like two years or something like that. Well, it was that. in development for 10 years, yeah. and then they actually filmed it uh, two years ago. It sat on the shelf, and they just released it this year. Uh, all right, so now that we've given you way too much detail than you really want to know about this movie, <laughs> here's what I think. It was good. It's not great. Uh, it was suspenseful when it needed to be, but there was just too many red herrings. There was points that it was just too predictable, yeah, things like that. It made it interesting. It, made, it definitely made the comic book interesting. It's worth a rental. Yeah. I'll say that. It's worth a rental. I would definitely say the acting was horrible. It was a very, very subpar adaptation. Skip the movie. Read the comic instead. The comic is far superior than anything you will see on screen. Okay, that's just about all from us, but before we go, I want to let you guys all know about our email address. Have a comment on what you're saying? You know you do. Send us an email. It's stubsreviews at gmail.com. I will yell at you again. <laughs> I would also like to take this opportunity to let you guys know about uh, the wonderful site, popculturezoo.com. And they have been a different supporter of the show. And so, yeah. And so go there. a little there. bit of love back. We love you, Joe. All right. Anyway, this has been a Stubbs review of Whiteout. I'm Mike. I'm Mark. You guys have a good one. We'll see you next time. Uh -huh.